This year's celebration of our 237th birthday is highlighted by anniversaries that have defined us as the greatest maritime warfighting force in history. Across the country, cities have held Navy Week celebrations for the bicentennial of the War of 1812, which guaranteed our independence and ensured our future. These events have shown the contrast of our modest beginnings with the original six frigates at the start of the 19th century to today's 21st century modern fleet. This year, we also celebrate the 70th anniversary of Guadalcanal, one of our Navy's most important World War II victories in the Pacific, and also the 50th anniversary of the Cuban Missile Crisis. When President Kennedy was allowed to stand firm during the Cold War confrontation because of the might of 140 ships of our fleet in the Caribbean. Since then, the Navy has continued to provide the flexibility that our Commander-in-Chief needs to meet high and conventional or asymmetrical threats, to provide humanitarian assistance or disaster relief in response to natural crises. We have remained a nation committed to the seas and to a strong Navy. While we've innovated, and built the world's greatest fleet through the years. What makes our Navy part of the best expeditionary fighting force ever is our sailors. You are standing the watch. You are sustaining peace in the global commons. The new defense strategy announced by the President in January is a maritime-centric strategy, so America has to have your continued best. This is a time, this is a future, when so much depends on our naval services, and we will continue to take care of our sailors and their families to make sure they have all they need to take care of our nation. You, those sailors, are part of a Navy warfighting team that is reliable, that is flexible, that is ready to respond anywhere worldwide, on, above, below the seas. I look forward to all we will accomplish in the years ahead. Thank you. Happy birthday, Navy. Semper Fortis.